So I've had this mill for a couple months now and been kind of farting around making little projects, nothing too serious, uh, a couple USB holders, a couple tape measure holders, and I decided it was time to make a, my first serious project on here. And what this is is a fly cutter. And what it's used for is to surface uh, the top of a piece of metal, something like this, to get it completely flat and you do it in one pass. It started out as a piece of hex stock and I put it in the mill in the vise at a 45 degree angle like this. And with the end mill, just started coming across and shaving it across little by little, coming down, coming down, till I got it cut off at a 45 degree angle. And then I took a smaller end mill, obviously this one's too big, and just cut the slot through here and then cut this side off here so I'd have some room to put the set screws in which hold the tool in place. And this is the tool that goes in there. Just a high speed steel blank that I ground down. The way it cuts, it goes in the end mill like this and as the end mill spins around it just shears off uh, just one tiny little line and you move it forward and it just keeps spinning in a circle and cutting it off. You'll see how it works. I don't need to explain it right now. And when I first tried it, I was getting a whole lot of chatter with it. Uh, not chatter like cheese, but chatter. It was bouncing up and down. You could see a bunch of little vibration lines. Uh, almost looked like little dotted lines or something in the cuts. When I was cutting, the edge of the blade was uh, perpendicular to the work. And so it would cut across like here, just almost like a bulldozer, just plowing right through it. And you can see I ground this angle in here, this shiny flat part right here. So I ground it now, so that now the end is sitting at a bit of an angle. So instead of plowing through it like a bulldozer, now it's tipped back a bit. So it's more shearing through it, like a... Uh, uh, well, now it's more shearing through it. So how it works is you just put the blade, or your tool in there, they call it. And you tighten down the two set screws. And we'll install it in the mill. One thing I almost forgot to mention. I said this started out as a piece of hex stock, uh, which it did. And the plan was to leave it as a hex so I could hold it in the vise by the flats, which used to run all the way down and then cut all my grooves and slots and angles and whatnot, and then bring it over to the lathe and put it in and turn it down to get this round three-quarter inch part right here so it would fit up inside the chuck. Well, that was the plan, but I ran into a bit of a problem. After I'd gotten all the machining done, I needed to turn around and install it into the lathe. Well, you can see this sort of problem here in that the lathe has no way to grip onto anything because I shaved all the material away here. I needed these hexes all the way down. And if I had a much, much bigger lathe, you could push this through the middle. My lathe has a smaller hole in it. You can see you can put stock through and it'll go all the way through and come out the back. Uh, but this is just way too big. What I ended up doing is took the piece over to a Comtech EDM. Uh, Carl Johnson and his son Jeff run the place and really excellent guys, really helpful. I go in there uh, from time to time for sometimes personal machining that I need done or need to talk to them about or for work related stuff and uh, they're always just super helpful with me, really patient even though I'm when it comes to machining I'm basically a complete idiot. I took this over and he has a, a much bigger lathe, uh, not a little almost a toy lathe what I have here and he was able to put this in far enough so the jaws could grip down here here and here and then he cut this around for me. So what's going to happen is you can see I've got that rounded cutting edge that I mentioned here and this thing will just sit and spin in a circle over and over and then as it spins I'll just start turning it so it cuts through the work like this. So we'll start it up and see how it goes. And that's how the finished result there. Not quite a mirror finish, but pretty close. Um, I say I'm pretty happy with this. That's all. Thanks for watching.